Welcome to our channel. What is Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's winery lawsuit all about? Cheap Rosé and Vineyard Venture explained. Picture a stunning vineyard in southern France, where ancient buildings stand amidst lush greenery. That's Chateau Mirabel, once co-owned by Hollywood stars Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. But behind the scenes of this beauty lies a tangled web of legal battles and personal drama between the exes. Yes, once they owned this chateau together, but as the years went by, their fairy tale took a dark turn. In 2022, Pitt filed a lawsuit against Jolie, alleging that she stole her share of Chateau Miraville without his permission. Let's delve deeper into the legal battle of Angelina and Brad. The former couple purchased Chateau Miraville as a romantic investment. In 2008, Jolie and Pitt purchased Chateau Miraville a picturesque estate in the south of France. This vineyard held sentimental value for the couple back then. They purchased it just to create happy memories with family, and not as any business venture. It was a place where they got married in 2014 and spent many of their holidays here alongside their kids and family. By 2013, the former couple had turned their attention to winemaking, producing their own brand of rose. Little did they know that their romantic investment would soon capture the world's attention in ways they never imagined. Jolie sold her share without Pitt's approval. As time passed, the vineyard became more than just a property. It became a passion project for Pitt. He poured his heart and soul into making it a multi-million dollar success. But Jolie claims that he wasn't that involved. Trouble started brewing when Jolie allegedly sold her share of the winery to a third party in 2021. This happened after the couple got divorced in 2016. She wanted to break free from the past, so she sold the portion to Tenute Del Mondo, a company linked to Stoli Group. This led to Pitt filing a lawsuit against Jolie. According to Pitt, this sale was made without her consent, and it was downright against the rules. According to reports, they had an agreement not to sell any shares without their mutual approval. Pitt even claimed that he wanted a chance to purchase his ex-wife's shares himself. There's a twist in this too. Pitt claims that Jolie sold her shares to a company linked to a Russian businessman named Yuri Scheffler. You might be wondering, how does it matter? Well, Pitt was so much worried because Scheffler has connections to Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. Pitt accuses Jolie of intentionally choosing a buyer who could harm the winery's reputation. You see, he's worried that Scheffler's involvement could harm the brand's good image. He claims that it will tarnish the vineyard's reputation that he has worked so hard to build. According to U.S. Weekly, Brad always dreamed of leaving Marival to his children as part of the family legacy. Jolie claims Brad demanded a NDA for buying her shares. The legal fight turned into a big mess, with both Pitt and Jolie pointing fingers at each other. Pitt said Jolie was trying to stop him from talking about their problems during their marriage, while Jolie claims that Pitt was abusive to her and their kids. Angelina's legal team even made a bold move by filing a motion to access Brad's communications. They argued that Brad demanded a heavy non-disclosure agreement, NDA, as a condition for purchasing her shares. This agreement would stop her from talking about his bad behavior towards her and their kids outside of court. When Jolie said no, Pitt allegedly backed out. Moreover, in September 2022, a company linked to Jolie filed a massive $250 million lawsuit against Pitt. They accused him of trying to take over the winery out of revenge for their messy divorce and custody battles. So, once owning a vineyard, which was a shared dream of the former couple, has turned into a sour legal battle. Stay tuned for further updates on this case.